Aries. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, my loves. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Aries, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have to pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Aries, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Absolutely. Hmm. All right, let's talk about your energy. There's a, an a decent proposal here. <laughs> um, I don't know how else to say that. Uh, exactly what it is. Um, Aries, I think you're glowing. I think you're getting the um, your center stage energy. You're getting. You're very attractive. Your energy is very seductive. It's very attractive. I wouldn't be surprised if your um, your com your companion's friend um, is a little inappropriate with you or even family member. I'm not going to lie. Um, so expect that and just deal with it accordingly. Okay. Um, I don't know how to say handle that. It's making me uncomfortable literally as I'm sitting here. But um, it's, it's just a really... It, it, hmm. God darn. It's just a really uh, uncomfortable situation. You don't really want to be the cause of your partner um, uh, having any kind of like um, dispute with their friends or family. But at the same time, you're not going to allow yourself to be disrespected and them really disrespecting your partner as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, just try to handle it, I guess, with kick gloves if you can. Uh, the best way you can. Okay. That's how, that's what came in with your energy. Let's see what's going on. We're pulling from the animal um, spirit oracle for you. Aries energy, please. And thank you. Aries. My moon is in Aries. Very excited about this reading because I don't read for myself. I have an elephant and a buffalo in reverse. Yeah, this is a funky situation. See, the elephant is really, you know, the ele they, they, you, there's a saying that uh, somebody can have a memory like an elephant because they don't forget. And that's what makes them, you know, learn from the past because they don't forget. But it's coming in reverse, you know. So, you know, with the buffalo normally bringing in uh, abundance, you know, quickly and forcefully, or some type of uh, provisions, you know what I mean, from the universe, um, it's again coming in reverse. And honestly, I think that this is because of that toxic connection that's in your vicinity, okay? The pig uh, is coming in behind this. Uh, kind of the pig energy really focuses on your thought processes. That's why I said really think this thing through and handle it with kit gloves. Try to foresee an outcome before you say anything, um, before you react, you know, think, think it through. Okay. Think it through. I'm not saying back, uh, back down or be disrespected. I'm just saying, um, uh, handle it wisely. You know, um, sometimes you got to go in the bathroom and just have a quiet moment with God, like pray on it real quick. Like, Lord, just lead me, guide me, you know, uh, uh, help me with my words, you know, give me the right way to handle this. Give me the right words to say, you know, you know, your partner, if you know, you have a partner, like with a temper, you know, go pray for their, um, anger control or anger management before you disclose this information, things like that. Okay. Be guided by your angels and ancestors. They're going to lead you in the right direction because there is a change coming out of this and it's going to be absolutely beautiful, um, with nothing, but look at that 
honey <laughs> sweet results with the bee yeah it's it's going to be beautiful you just got to get through this little pickle and this is honestly somebody being really stupid but it's a, it's a requirement there's a disconnect that has to happen between you and an individual or between your partner and an individual um, because I guess the blessings that you have coming in will bless you and your partner. Now, if you're single, don't think that this energy doesn't apply. I'm sorry, I'm looking for what I want to, okay, let's offer. Um, if you're single, you know, and you're saying, um, well, I don't have a partner. I mean, you can literally just be hanging out, talking to somebody, and maybe another person is inappropriate. What if it's your girlfriend or your homie? You know, let's say you and the guys are hanging out. You guys are, I don't know, watching the game. You know, football season is starting again. And you see someone, you're talking to them, and you told your homies that you're interested. And you go to the bathroom and you come out and your homie is uh, putting his number in her phone. Like it, uh, the disrespect. You understand what I'm saying? But handle it wisely. That's all I'm saying. Handle it wisely. Okay. Remember, guys, this energy. So it doesn't have to be exact. I just want you, I want to make you aware so you're not blindsided because you're thinking this doesn't apply to me because I don't have a companion or me and my husband are good. You know, we don't have them kind of problems. People are still people. Believe me, people are still people. Can I have a center for Aries, please? What's at the core? Can I have a center for Aries? Thank you so much. The sun, the reveal, the illumination. Again, your energy is very happy. I said that. I feel like you're sexy. I feel like you're burlesque. I feel like you're commanding attention. You know, that's that sun energy, beautiful Leo energy. It's whimsical. It's fun. It's laughter, you know, uh, but it's also the brightest energy of the major arcana. So it's the brightest card in the deck, period. This is a 100-watt light bulb where situations may have had a 40-watt light bulb. You ever change your watt bulb? Your watt bulb. Shut up, okay? Just shut up. I know I messed up. Did you ever change your light bulb from a 40 to a 100? It's like, what in the heck in the world? I mean, you see stuff that, like, wait a minute. When is the last time I dusted? Hello? <laughs> It's an eye opener and there's the conflict. Look at it. I'm telling you, I called, uh, look, I'm Aries. I know you guys never ever wanna hear bad news. I love you. Believe me, I'm the same way, but I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? So, and this is to prepare you, you know? What's crowning this energy right now? What can Aries pull down from the world? Put it into it, get away from it. All right, get away from it, put an end to it. You might have been thought about moving anyway and let that be your confirmation to get away from people, places, and things. The world energy speaks about traveling, moving, but bottom line is it's closure. This is the last major arcana of the tarot because it closes out a cycle and that energy crowns. So pull down from that energy while and keep your sun. Don't let nobody take this shine from you. You know, pull down from that energy and handle, you know, this situation here. Yeah, fight, for, defend yourself. Like I said, handle it accordingly, but don't get too caught up fighting things that are beneath you. That's my point, okay? Because he's on a level fighting wands that are beneath him. If he literally turns around and walks away, they can't even reach him. Hello? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what's working against you. What's in the way for Aries right now? What's working against Aries right now? You. Ha! Ah, damn fool. <laughs> and I'm laughing because you say, look, green eyes. I don't know. 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 It depends on the day, the time, and the situation. That anything could happen. <laughs> I get it. I love you guys so much. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. But don't, um, like I said, think about it first. Remember a full energy is an energy of blind action. Okay. 
this full energy is an energy of not having the information, not having the knowledge, not knowing the whole story, not knowing where they're going. Make sure you have all of the information. Make sure you understand. Th use your mind wisely. Isn't that what the pig says? Use your mind wisely. That's all I'm saying. It's going to work against you if you don't. If you go in and, and just on impulse, it's not going to go well. Okay, it's if you handle this off of impulse, it's not going to go well. Uh, where is this coming from? What's bringing this on for Aries? Where is it coming from? Can we have some? All right, some meat and potatoes. So we have a magician. See, this is somebody pretending. It's somebody pretending and a six of pentacles. Yeah, you know, they probably this is somebody, you know, this is an energy of manna breadcrumbs. It's like sometimes they're in their life. Sometimes they're not. They're kind of cool. You know, you don't really kick it with them all the time, but their magician energy. It's somebody pretending. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, um, you've also um, in the past have been trying to put together something a project and it seems like it's not paying as well or as fast as you would like that's about to change okay just give it a second all right i know it seems you're like look it's been a year it's it's give it a second let's deal with one thing at a time because i think you got to shake from this energy in order for that to that abundance to kind of um flow in for you yeah you need emotional control king of cups control your emotions baby Master your emotions. Where are we going with this? Future energy, please. Future energy, please. Where are we going with this? Hey, I told you the abundance is come, coming up with the chariot. King of Pentacles um, and the chariot. So we have some Cancerian energy and we have some great, great uh, abundance and grounding and stability with that King of Pentacles. That's earth energy, okay? He's the master of the pentacle. He's a planner. You know, takes care of home because of emotional control. You see that? You control your emotions. You control your uh, finances. You control your emotions. You control uh, your, your stability, all right? The home life, all right? Your investments, things like that. And that way, when your Uber comes with that chariot energy, that's like an Uber. I call it the Uber. Or actually, I had a client uh, that said it a couple of years ago. So I, I told him and I got his permission to call it an Uber. <laughs> but uh, you're not going to have a say in the journey. You will have a say in the destination. So when this chariot does come to pick you up and that energy starts to flow, you just have in a mindset. You want to have a king mindset. All right, and focus, emotional control, like business first, the business is business, bullshit is bullshit, you know, family first, whatever the case is. But if it stresses you out, nine of swords, just no, just pray, meditate, high priestess is here, you're in tune, you have access, you know the God that you serve, you know the God that keeps you, you know the God that leads you and guides you. So, so the, have a moment. You know, if you have to make a decision or deal with some things that may have you feeling a little overwhelmed or stressed, then deal with them in spirit first before you tackle them in flesh. You understand what I'm saying? Because the high priestess has that kind of connection. And when that energy comes in, you really want to utilize it to the max because she also um, assists with decisions in spirit first and then in flesh. That way, when you're doing things in flesh, it doesn't feel like you're uh, not, not doing what you feel is right or you don't feel is um, something uh, you, you shouldn't do or you're questioning what, whether or not you're doing the right thing, things like that. When you have assistance and make decisions in spirit, making uh, movements in flesh is no problem, all right? So it looks like there's a queen of swords here um, coming into your energy or you may be walking away from. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. She's very truthful and factual, okay? Very intelligent, uh, but she wills that sort of truth because she only accepts truth, okay? So if this truth is not to your liking or vice versa, then it looks like you're, you're, you're out of here. You know, that situation, you're getting away from it. Eight of Cups, you're walking away. You're getting away from anything toxic because you're focusing on love, marriage, or your life's purpose. Pick one, okay? Pick one because this energy here would cover all of it, all right? Whatever that is for you, okay? As an independent, you are always abundant. 
you don't know how to be broke. It's just not in your DNA. You're always a go-getter. You're always thinking about the next move, the next income stream, the next investment, things like that, okay? So because of that, you're able to stand as an independent in comfort. You're also able to stand as an independent, very in tune with the most high, very um, gifted, you know, um, spiritually and things like that. So, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Because really... After all of those things are mastered, as far as you being an independent, once you master everything that you want to master independently, you still kind of think about the comfort of whatever home life should be for you. Like if you're a family person and you want children, then you'll start to kind of think about those things. Or if you're kind of uh, maybe more focused on business, you want to maybe um, think of ways to kind of grow business or make it um, more automatic, I think. If this feels I'm seeing some kind of factory I don't know like an assembly line um, but maybe you're trying to like automate something so that it you're not working hard you're working smart or you're making money while you're asleep or something like that but that's kind of how this Queen of Pentacles feels to me with there's automation here and this family here because she's a planner and an investor as well okay so that energy starts to kick in and you get nothing but clarity and information with those things when you start actually focusing on those things. You get assistance, okay? Um, the Ace of Swords gives you clarity. It gives it a communication. Even the ability to cut ties with people, places, and things that don't serve you, that Ace of Swords assists with those things, okay? Because there are going to be people that feel like you abandoned them, okay? Or you may even feel like you've been abandoned. Okay, you may see this as a betrayal or they see you uh, that you betrayed, regardless of how the energy is in your life as whether you're the giver or the receiver of this energy, you're still going to actually have the respect of looking at their point of view of the energy. See, that's that's the beauty of you, Aries. I'm telling you, everybody say you guys are super, super crazy, but I know there's so much respect and love and consideration in you. You know what I mean? Uh, but the hangman, Piscean energy, it's like you're looking at this situation of betrayal or loss or separation. You really take a step back in hindsight and you say, wait a minute, let me see it from their point of view because you want to be fair. OK, now this might be something you talk about. And when you do have something to say, you're going to say your truth, because at that point now you're going to feel like you've seen the situation from your side and you looked at it from their side. All right. That's the king of swords. So there may be an offer, a small trinket. Somebody might want to apologize or you might want to apologize, um, you know, just to say, hey, you know, um, I see you or I'm thinking about you or whatever the case is. Um, it might not be received. OK. Yeah, it might not be received well, um, whether you're trying to figure out if you should accept it or they're trying to figure out if they should accept from you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so just be mindful of that. As far as love is concerned, love is really iffy for you. <sighs> new love. I'm going to say it like that. New people who are single, Aries, they're single. New love right now is a little, um, it's not iffy. What do you call it? It's, um, unpredictable. That's how I want to say it. It's unpredictable right now with this Knight of cups, moon and death and hermit. That's just a whole bunch of, I, I don't know. Some I look, it could be this. It could be that. It could be this. It could be that. I ain't going through all that. It's just unpredictable right now. So I suggest you just, you know, make sure you watch your sick and go to, uh, watch your six and go with the flow. You know, you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. You don't have no problem expressing that, all right? Um, yeah, other than that, uh, couples uh, with love, your partner might be dealing with something internally, okay? And you may be offended that they're not sharing it with you, that the, you feel like they're hiding something. Um, and they are, I ain't gonna lie, but... It's not because they're trying to hide it. It's more so because they're trying to process it. So just give them a second before you flip, you know, flip the table, okay? All right. I hope this helps. Now, if any event you say green eyes, I don't even know what you're talking about, okay? You don't know me. I'm okay with that. You know, check your moon, rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. 
excuse me, leave it here for someone else. Okay. Um, everybody thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it does support the channel. If you're interested in more content, there's a lot more content at Boomstick Level Energy Membership. There's a little more content at Leap of Faith. Okay. Other than that, remember we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.